It's not only Samsung that's stoking the fires of Tech January with the Galaxy S24 Ultra and Co. OnePlus is also bringing some heat with its new OnePlus 12 and OnePlus 12R. The two devices are already official in China but will be getting officially announced for the globe market on January 23. And seemingly, the OnePlus 12 is shaping up to be very serious competition to both the Galaxy S24 Ultra and just about any flagship released so far in 2023. With cutting-edge hardware and the signature OnePlus attention detail, there's little denying that the bar of our hopes is set quite high for the newest flagship phone. Could it be the OnePlus 12 might be one of the no-flaw phones of 2024? The OnePlus 12 comes with a new 50 megapixel camera powered by one of Sony's new camera sensors, the Light 808. A mostly similar sensor, the Light T808 powered the OnePlus Open's main camera and delivered very decent image quality, so we have our hope set high for the Light 808. However, the camera itself is slightly different, it's a bit wider at 23mm and with a faster f1.6 aperture 2, while the OnePlus Open was tighter at 24mm and slower at f1.7 aperture. This means the OnePlus 12 could have a slight edge when it comes to low light image performance. OnePlus has also slightly boosted the megapixel count of the ultra wide camera from 48 to 50 megapixel, but it's doubtful that would incur any major improvements in terms of quality. A trove of image processing and algorithm improvements is what could potentially improve the quality of the ultra-wide shots. Finally, the most importantly, a telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom is finally back on OnePlus flagships. After debuting on the OnePlus 7 Pro years ago, the 3x telephoto lens fell out of favor, resulting in a OnePlus 11 with a measly 2x telephoto, while not as impressive as the 5x and 10x periscopes of today, a quality 3x is still an improvement. Equipped with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset, the newest power plant slated for most Android flagships in 2024. The second gen 4 nanometer chip drops 32 bit supports and is Qualcomm's first 64 bit only chip. Aside from that, it scores 10% higher system efficiency as well as 30% faster cryo CPU, 25% faster and 25% more frugal Adreno GPU as well as hardware accelerated ray tracing with global illumination. AI, the hottest trend around, is improved with 98% better performance as well as 40% better efficiency. Overall, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is a beast that will fit quite well into the OnePlus 12. What's more impressive, however, is the memory situation. Seemingly, the OnePlus 12 will be available with up to 24GB RAM, which is mind blogging as well as up to 1TB of onboard storage. Both are quite speedy as well, with LPDDR5X and UFS 4.0 completing the specs sheet. There's no expendable storage, but it's barely needed at this point. OnePlus 2 is coming with Android 14 with the company's signature Oxygen OS on deck. Customizable but lightweight and non-intrusive, Oxygen OS has been our favorite for years and we can't wait to play with its latest iteration. It would probably score a ton of additions, mostly in the form of those trendy AI enhancements of late. Additionally, we expect 4 years of software support for the OnePlus 12, which means the phone should receive future Android versions up to Android 18. Being the fastest Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 flagship, it doesn't really have any similar powered competition just yet. However, as early as mid January 2024, we'd see possibly the biggest rival to the OnePlus 12 unveiled the Galaxy S24 series and S24 Ultra. If you are counting current gen devices, 
viable competition than many can be major rivals. The Pixel 8 Pro as well as the S23 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max could pose as viable high-end and premium alternatives to the upcoming OnePlus 12. The OnePlus 12 is among the device that will set the general tone for 2024 in terms of flagship releases. And as far as the China exclusive phone release, it's shaping up to be quite the intriguing device as far as pricing goes, so let's be hopeful that the aggressive pricing will stick to the global version as well.